Hello everyone, this is Bill with Secure Ideas, and today we're going to take another look at some Boolean mathematics. Now in a previous video, we looked at the AND operation, or the AND logic. This time we're going to take a look at the OR operational logic, which uses this V symbol to represent the OR logic being used. So to recap, Boolean math basically uses a binary system, and it only has two values that we can have. It's either going to be a 1, or it's going to be a 0, where 1 is going to equal a true condition, and 0 is going to be equal to a false condition. So to define what an OR operation does, it checks to see if one of the values is true. If at least one of the values is equal to 1, if one or both, at least one of them is equal to 1, then the result is also equal to 1, or the result is also equal to true. Here we have a truth table. Now because we're dealing with binary, it's very easy to map out the different combinations of 0 and 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. To apply the OR logic means that we ask the question, is either x or y true? So if x or y is equal to 1, then the output is also going to equal 1. If x or y are not 1, then the output is 0 or the output is false. Now since we might come across a problem on a CISP exam, we wanted to put up a problem that we can solve and walk through applying the OR logic just like you would if you were on a test. So the first thing you do when you have a Boolean math problem like this is you look to see what operation we're using. And because we're using that V symbol, this tells us that now we're dealing with the OR logic. So again, the OR logic says, is x or y true? And so we take the first column and we compare. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and we use the OR logic, is either x or y 1? If it is, then we give it a value, a result of 1, and we work our way down the list comparing the values between x and y. So when you're done, you're going to have a solution that looks like this. You've compared all the columns, x and y, and any place where either x or y is true, the result is true. Otherwise, the output is going to be false or zero. And so this is how you would work through and apply the OR logic to a Boolean math problem. Hopefully this has been helpful for identifying how the OR logic works and helps you if you're faced with this on an exam question. Thank you for joining and I hope everyone has a great day.